Shout out his name Sing out his praise Proclaim his deeds Tell of his blood Just recently, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the unreached mega cities of the world. I heard a prompt, distinct call from God to put up signs and wonders festivals in these bleeding, dying cosmopolitan centers and respond to their SOS signals for help. This is a thrilling new beginning of a rescue operation of a young urban generation lost without God. Can you hear the cry of the Pakistani woman in the city of Karachi as she quivers in the corner of her kitchen trying to avoid her husband's vicious fists? He swings them until her body bleeds, muscles tear and bones crack. She's one of many women living in terror of the husband she was once forced to marry. She's your neighbor and when nobody sees, she cries, hurts and bleeds. Can you try to imagine the sense of fear and hear the cry of the soldier in the Kashmir region in North India? His wounds after the latest battle are so severe that the doctor at the field hospital cannot help him anymore. Can you hear him as he asks his best friend to tell his wife and kids that he always loved them? Can you hear the screams of the 13-year-old Somali girl in the slums of Mogadishu? Her aunts hold her down, they spread her legs and they cut off her gender with a dirty piece of glass. Can you hear her cry later that night after she's been stitched up and she's wondering, what did I do to deserve this kind of treatment? She's done nothing wrong. She's just a young girl born into a demonic culture in desperate need of redemption. Can you hear the cry of the 17-year-old boy as blood is gushing out his mouth and ears? He's been severely hurt in one of the worst gang fights in the history of Cape Town, South Africa. Now his blood is coming out too fast and he knows that his young, precious life is going to end in another half hour or so. Can you imagine the single mother in Tokyo, Japan? It's late at night, she has just finished her laundry and she is sitting at her kitchen table with this mom's bill in her hand wondering if she's going to be able to pay them all. And you see her as she looks towards heaven, wondering if there is a God that cares about her. Can you hear the cry of the 16-year-old girl in Istanbul, Turkey? She's being held captive as a sex slave in an almost empty apartment. She's far away from her home back in Ukraine. Now she's waiting for her new predator to walk through the door. Can you hear the cry and the desperation of the mother from Kigali, Rwanda? Her body is aching and she's exhausted. She's affected by the HIV virus and uh, as she's walking to sell her crops at the city market, she's crying. Tears roll down her cheeks as she's thinking of her three children, age five, four and two, that will soon be left alone. We, Mission SOS Festival team, we are going to do more than just imagine or listen to the desperate signals and cries from the ghettos and the megacities. We will go there with more than just first aid, but to preach Jesus Christ as Savior and Healer. Will you follow me on these rescue adventures? Will you support me financially when I'm launching out to the victims laying on the satanic battlefield? Will you please pray for us as we are launching out to pursue our God-given call and as we are trying to be faithful to the great commission of Jesus Christ? Mega cities of the world, here we come.